And in the back pocket, I just keep all of his like poolside essentials. So unzipper that and the bag will open completely flat. Like this is crazy, 90 degrees. You can see right into the bag, like it's amazing. But as if that wasn't cool enough, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom and my son Reese is just under two and a half months old. I'm super excited for today's video. It's in collaboration with Miss Fong. I've talked about them in my previous videos, but if you aren't familiar with them, they basically just make super stylish, functional diaper bags, mommy bags, stroller bags, fanny packs, you name it. They have an entire lineup that you should really go check out. I have their newest bag in the lineup and I have been using it for a few days now and I'm loving it. It is honestly so practical with how many different pockets and really well thought out. It's also super affordable. It's right around $50. One of the awesome things about this diaper bag is it has four main ways that it can be used. It does come with the two backpack straps, which are nice and padded. And again, both straps are wipeable material. It comes with two stroller straps that are built right in. So you never have to worry about losing them. They just hooks right onto your stroller and you can stroll with the bag in tow. It does have a vegan leather handle as well that you can either carry, easy to grab in and out of the car, or if you want to just put it in the bottom basket of your stroller. And then one other cool feature about this bag is it does have a strap that you can go ahead and hook right onto the handle of a suitcase. That way if you're ever traveling, you don't have to worry about wearing the bag or losing the bag. It can just hook right on and it's one less thing to worry about. So I chose to get the brown color. This bag also does come in black. If you are interested at the end in purchasing this bag, you can go right onto Ms. Fong's website and I have a 10% discount you can go ahead and use so you can snag one up as well. But just to kind of give you a tour of the outside, the outside is made of this vegan leather. It's nice and wipeable. And then it has gold trim accents all around it. So just starting at the front, Right in here, this is a magnetic pouch, and then it has a nice cream color material. This is also wipeable, and you'll find that on the inside of the bag as well, especially since it's in the summertime and a lot of things are kind of wet and sandy and gross, and you just want to be able to easily clean up those things. It's really, really convenient to have. It just snaps closed. It does include its own hand sanitizer holder, but it's cute that it's refillable and attaches right on, and it comes with like an adorable little tassel as well. And then below that, we do have another zippered pocket here. I will say the zippers on this bag are really, really crispy and clean. There's nothing worse than having a bag that always snags. And so they're all super smooth, which is important to me. In here, again, it's that cream color and it's a deep pocket as well. So you could pretty much throw anything in there that you wanted to. I will say the main function of this bag that's pretty cool is it has two insulated pouches as you can see these right here so you can go ahead and just store two bottles right on the outside for easy access if you have an older child sippy cups will fit in there well and i know they have those like little like fruit pouches as well that kind of have like a little like squeeze top those will fit snugly in there too for a quick snack grab so that's a cool outside pocket that kind of just works as a multi-function for whatever your needs may be on the side over here this can actually work well for two reasons so you can have if you want to put in here a pack of baby wipes and this unzips so it's easy access you can just pull them right out or you can keep a pack of like wet wipes in there too and if you for some reason didn't want to have that and let's say you chose to use this bag after your child no longer needs a diaper bag it zips up and you can just totally just leave this as like a regular drink pocket if you don't need that for like a younger child per se on this side this as well it's just a nice deep drink pocket i put my hydro flask in here and i think it's like 24 ounces and it fits perfectly fine and then if you look at the top of the bag, there are two zippers in this front pocket here. Unzipper that and the bag will open completely flat. Like this is crazy, 90 degrees. You can see right into the bag, like it's amazing. So this front part of the bag is a mesh and it zips and it takes up the entire part of the bag. So you can literally put your whole arm down there. You can store so many things. And then if you flip it back this way, it comes with a wipeable changing pad as well that has a clip and this is the biggest changing pad i have ever seen a diaper bag come with like this will work for a baby but even when your child starts to grow and oftentimes they will outgrow the changing pads this will still work for you so you don't have to worry about them laying on like the dirty public changing tables and it's nice so if they happen to pee or poop on it or anything like that you can easily just wipe it away and then you can just fold it back up it snaps shut and you can just put it right back in the bag 
Over here, if you look, there's two deep pockets that have elastics on them. And then the back here, this is a deep pocket all the way down the front of the bag too. So this is pretty much where I keep all of my main diapers and wipes and I'll show you that in a second. This is what the inside looks like. Over here facing the front of the bag, this one does go all the way down to the base of the bag so you can for sure fit so many different things in here. On both sides over here, we have an insulated pocket as well as over here. So we are working with four insulated pockets. So there is no shortage of being able to keep a drink, hot or cold, whichever you prefer. On the back of the diaper bag, we have this nice little touch of the leather inside, which I just think adds up the classiness just a bit more. You can unzip this and this is just about a half size pouch. So you can fit like a phone in here, just something small that you want to kind of just have easy access to. And then, in my opinion, the best part of this entire bag is right here on the back. So if I move the straps, you'll see a like hidden pocket. So you can unzip this and it allows you to go ahead and go inside the bag. So like right here, you'll see that it comes with a car keychain, so you can easily have access to that. If you just need to grab something from the bottom of the bag without having to kind of rifle through or move anything around, this allows that. But as if that wasn't cool enough, it also has a waterproof pocket here. So there's no need to carry a wet dry bag. There's no need to, where did I put that wet piece of clothing? Like, no, no, it's right here on the back and you can easily just put it in here. And it's a good size too. Like it fits my entire hand. It's honestly like the best part about this entire bag. I am so happy that they thought of that. And the fact that it's completely waterproof is like, a game changer, especially for moms that have, you know, kids going to the pools, kids going to the beach, things like that. It just gives you that peace of mind that whatever you put in there, it's safe. As you can see, they put so much thought and effort into making sure there was a spot and a pocket for anything you could possibly need. I am a person that loves order, organization, and so you'll see when I add my stuff into the diaper bag right now, what I'm talking about. Everything has a designated spot. It is the most stylish bag. I get so many compliments with it. So if your partner's also wearing the bag, you don't have to worry that it looks good on guys too. And let me just show you what I keep in here. So in terms of packing, I consider myself to be a minimal yet realistic packer. I don't like a ton of extras, but I also don't want to be like up a creek without a paddle sort of situation. So. This is kind of what I keep on a day-to-day -day basis, plus a few extra items just in case we head to the pool. I don't want to have to always unpack and repack. So starting in the front here in this clip pocket right here, I just keep Reese's little toy. He's really into looking into mirrors right now. So this is a nice crinkle book with a lot of black and white colors on one side and then actual colors on the other. It just fits right there. I can easily just go ahead and get it real quick, not having to dig through anything or find anything. And I can just snap it right back up when I'm done with it. So that's right there in that pocket. And then of course, hand sanitizer because we live in the times of COVID. And then I've kind of designated this front pouch right here as to like my mommy pouch. So inside of it, I just keep my little clutch wallet, um, deodorant because I'm a weirdo and I'm always afraid I'm gonna smell. So just some deodorant, tampons, a scrunchie and some chapstick. On the side of the bag that works as the wipes, usually this will have my pacifier wipes, but I actually have a new pouch right now. So that just slides in right there and then I'll pull it through once I open the pouch. And then this side, as I said, stays empty because I'm always thirsty. So my hydro flask will go in there. It's just currently being washed, but any water bottle will do you good. Make sure you always have one because you'll find yourself being thirsty even when you don't think you will be. And then opening up this pocket, No surprise here, a diaper bag has diapers. And so I've kind of just designated this entire area to be like my changing table section. So on the front pouch here where the mesh is, I just keep the changing mat so it's easy access and it folds right back up. And then I also just keep some little poop bags to kind of throw away if we're in like a public place and I don't want to stink up someone's garbage. So those just get thrown right in there. And then on this side, I keep his regular diapers, his swim diapers, and his wipes. In this side pocket, I have five size two huggy little snugglers. 
And then in this side pocket, I just keep two size three Huggies little swim diapers. We just obviously don't use those as much. And those fit in there and I just stock them up whenever we run low. And then in the pocket behind the diapers, I just keep his pack of wipes. These are about half gone, but they are a, I believe a 60 count and the full thing of wipes will fit in there. I personally don't really believe in travel size wipes. I'd rather just get a diaper bag that can accommodate a larger pack of wipes. So I'm not like, do I have wipes? And so that just kind of stays in there. I've never had to add a new pack of wipes in Reese's two and a half months old. So just stick that right in there. And then in the second big pocket, tons of extra room still in there, like tons. In this pouch right here, which is facing the front of the bag, these are where I just kind of keep his spare clothes that I probably won't be grabbing for unless he has a blowout. So I just keep a light like bamboo material footie, just an extra white onesie, and then I just carry an extra pair of socks in case his feet get a little bit cold. And then in the main part, I have a muslin blanket. These are great spot to lay, grab some spit up, put a blanket on him, cover him up from the shade. So I always say just have a muslin blanket like as a staple in your diaper bag, whether that's a swaddle or just a little bit of blanket form. It's so multifunctional and it doesn't take up that much room. On the side pouch here, I do have an eight ounce glass Dr. Brown bottle. These pouches are huge. You could totally fit up to like the 11 ounce bottles, no questions. And I still have an extra one open on the other side. And if I really needed to, I could snag into my two insulated pockets for my mom pouch in the front. But um, I am supplementing with formula. So I always have just an extra bottle in here. And then down at the bottom, I just keep a travel container of pre-portioned out formula. I got this right off of Amazon, and so this works great. I can just dump it right in whenever we're giving him a bottle. And then next to that, I just keep a burp cloth and a bib. Reese is a pretty messy eater with the bottle, so I just keep this in the bottom of the bag because I grab it more often than I might say like the footy, for example. And then on the back, on the keychain hook, I obviously keep my keys. And then I've also kind of stolen the little like leather strap that the keys hang on to, and I put his like, binky and chain so that just kind of hangs right there and then inside here it's just a spot where I slide in my cell phone and in the back pocket I just keep all of his like poolside essentials so just because it's waterproof and so if they spilled or anything got wet I wouldn't be devastated that the rest of the bag got wet so I just keep his blue lizard Australian sunscreen it's a mineral based sunscreen I know the controversy over sunscreen on babies under six months. Talk to your pediatrician, make your own decision. But we overall were really loving this. It's really great quality. I also keep his little sun hat in here. And then his little bathing suit as well. And that does it for Reese's diaper bag. I hope this was helpful if you are looking for what to pack in your newborn's diaper bag for summertime especially. As always, thank you so much for Ms. Fong for the collab today and partnering with me. If you guys are interested, don't forget you can go to Ms. Fong's website and get your 10% off. I'll make sure to link everything down below for you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you in our next video.